this is like a big difference between Western science and Chinese science, especially talking about in healing. Chinese healing focused focused at the very beginning, not on the body, not on the cells to begin with, but focus on the formation of the universe. At the time, the the concept of universe mainly is the solar system. They discover something is very interesting. Every year we have a 12 month, and we have 12 major energy channels in the body. And the original founding of energy points, now people call it acupuncture point, are 365 points. When you look at the inner uh, classic, inner classic of yellow emperor, and you will find this information. This is like uh, the first most fundamental book who, which set the whole dynamic and system of Chinese medicine. And any medicine or the techniques of medicine in, in a Chinese, I mean a Chinese medicine, you call it like a uh, acupuncture, tuina, cupping, qigong, tai chi, they all came from this book. It is that powerful, this book. They saw the study the nature, the land, trees, observation of the behavior of animals, then they found out there's something very unique existing in the universe, and this thing is Qi. Qi creates everything. Qi has yin and yang, and the body actually is the miniature of the universe. That's why they call this body is a small universe. Amazing. Whatever we are doing today here has an effect in the universe. Long time ago, Lao Tzu already said that. Then how we can apply this philosophy into our healing then? That is a very, very important reach, reaching the science into health, the science into spirituality, and science into emotional balancing. And through a deeper study, they found out this chi has three levels, basically. The first level is as a form of a material force. It runs like an electricity, runs through the body, making everything moving. And then the second level is, it has consciousness. This chi knows what to do for you in the body. And the chi has intelligence. The intelligence includes the blueprint, the life pattern of your life, and also the intelligence of the entire universe. That is the key understanding of this miraculous healing cases studies like my friend just shared with me no medicine practice in qigong and my colon cancer disappeared as you go into that moment of serenity you tap into the consciousness of the qi you allow the qi to work for you through the consciousness you wake up the intelligence you connect to the intelligence of your life, of the universe. That intelligence has all the information to help you to re-download the information of your life. That's the moment complete healing takes place. So after a lot of studies with this T, I found out in our life, no matter who you are, we are doing two things. Number one, we are having fun every day. We want to have fun every day, right? You want to become a doctor because that will bring you fun. That's why you want to become a doctor. You want to become a carpenter because doing the carpenter work, you know, giving me so much joy. Having fun. The thing is, you work with your chi to make sure you have fun. Two things. You work with the chi to make sure you have fun, to guarantee you have fun. Our chi 
installed inside has all the information of the entire universe. This is the way of life. We need to follow the principles, the law of the qi, to operate our life. It's time for you to go to bed. You should sleep, but you stay up three days in a row, three nights in a row drinking. What is going to happen to you? You're not going to have fun anymore. You see, it is just like that simple. I like something simple. Now here comes two questions. How can we activate this qi to work for the body? How can we work well with this qi so that we can enjoy our life better? Chinese ancestors are just so smart in this way. In Dr. Qing, and also in the Yellow Emperor book, the inner classic of the Yellow Emperor, he says, the best healing is to heal with no medicine and no any other tools. Just work with the chi. And then the second, the lower class of healing. And so then you learn something, how to manipulate the chi flow, like an acupuncture or medicine, to ignore this, this kind of things. Because the first category is so simple and it is so mysterious, people don't like it. Because it is too simple. People don't believe it. And people like to have something to grab in hands against something. So the needles, herbal medicine will work. The people who live the longest life follow the law of the universe. What do you want to really harvest the true joy in our life from the universe. Now we need to follow the nature of the qi, helping the qi, number one, physically move in the body. Number two, emotionally, in a consciousness level, to help to activate that source, to guide the qi flow in the right direction. And then the third level is, Read down low or always connect to the intelligence of the body to help the body constantly making the balance of yin and yang, making the balance of five elements inside the body. If you have time to get into the void, meditating through meditation, qigong to through qigong movements, you can cultivate the qi in these three levels, physical, mental, and spiritual. Qi flow as a force in the body, and then the, uh, the emotion, the consciousness, and then the intelligence, and all the life pattern, I mean the life blueprint in the body got activated. Now here, I show you something very simple. First of all, you need to work with your body. So everybody, I want you to hold, put your feet flat on the floor. I want, to, I want you to experience this. You can get into that intelligent level very quickly to read down low information from the universe to balance your yin and yang and clear energy blockages and heal yourself. Longer you can stay in that spot, faster you can heal yourself. So first of all, hold the ball in, in front of you. Hold the ball. Once you hold your hands like this, the six meridians in your hands got activated. The lungs, large intestines, heart, triple heaters, small intestines, and another heart channel. They all have a, a great connection to your limb system, to your immune system, to your heart. So that's why Qigong has a lot to do with the hands. So you activate. By holding the hands like this, you activate the channels in your body. It is just like a symbol. This is like something this is so unique. You believe it, it works. You don't believe it, it still works. So up to you. Hold it now. You say in your mind. Tell the universe, tell your body what you want. For instance, I want to heal my arthritis in my back. I want to heal my arthritis in my knee. Or I want to heal my tumors in my breast. Tell your body this is what you want so that your chi will have a purpose to work for you. All right? Now, after, after that, then you put a smile on your face. 
Smile, S-M-I-L-E, stands for. And my spin for Qigong friends, start my internal love engine. Thank you. You activate that love energy, that, that beautiful consciousness inside. And then you hold that beautiful little smile on your face. And then you start moving your hand. I want you to roll the ball up and down. And you feel happy. This is you in insert emotion, the consciousness. Once you feel happy, that energy automatically goes to the liver to strengthen your immune system, your limb system. It's very good stuff. We are working every day so hard. It's for happiness. Now happiness is right inside the ball <laughs> in front of you. So. You more move your hands gently. Now slow down, slowly, as slow as you can go. So now you are working in two dimension now, the physical and the emotional. Now I want you to go up to the third dimension. You work with intelligence. Now what you do? I want you to close your eyes. Continue to move your hand. Now you tell your body, "I completely surrender my mind to my intelligence, to my soul, to my heart, and allow my heart to direct the movement of my hands." So now you don't control your movements anymore. You see.